A windy day turned a small fire into a big one at Twin Rivers Paper Company in Whitehall, and it's expected to burn for several days. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Donna Terrell. Gary Burton Jr. is live in studio with us now to talk about what created this fire and what's being done right now to put it out. Yeah, Donna Cruz tell me that they responded to the Twin Rivers Paper Company in Whitehall to a report of a machine fire at around 12 noon. But the fire was actually bundles of recycled cardboard that caught fire. The company is in interviewing employees in their investigation to determine exactly what caused the fire. Smoke and water blew in the wind as Jefferson County fire crews worked to extinguish the Twin Rivers Paper Company fire. It started in the outside recycled cardboard area, and Redfield Fire Chief Danny Aiken says crews will have to monitor it for days. It's just going to take and just continue to burn and contain heat, and when you think you got it out, you let it set and dry a little bit, and the sun comes on, it's going to just catch right back to fire. The fire also caused an 18-wheeler to catch fire and sparked two grass or brush fires across the street from the paper company. The wind conditions today were just what caused it to spread and be hard to put out. Uh, any burning today anywhere is going to be horrible with this kind of wind. The winds today were 21 miles per hour and gusting at 35 with very dry air mass. Chief Aiken says people often ignore the weather conditions, causing fires that could have been prevented. This year alone, with the winds we've had and the dry conditions, we, the forestry and all of us have probably have responded out to over 600 fires that could have been prevented. At this time, as the fire continues to burn, the main priority is to keep it from spreading inside the building. Now, thankfully, there were no injuries reported, and Fire Chief Atkins says that all fire agencies in Jefferson County responded to the fire, but now only the Hardin Volunteer Fire Department is monitoring it. Reporting live in studio, I'm Gary Byrne, Jr., Fox 16 News.